wondered why lightning strikes certain things and not others? Yeah, you know, I've always known one thing. Yes. Don't stand under a tree. Oh. That's right. Let me check in with Scott. Lightning is trying to get basically from the cloud to the ground as quick as possible, and the air is an insulator. It doesn't really allow that to happen as well. So it's looking for solid objects that can travel faster through, and that's where the, the charges are uh, going up to the tops of the trees, and that will happen as well. So we're going to hear more about that. We've been talking to Valley View Elementary and the, the kids that are putting their weather projects together, and there was that question po uh, posed, exactly how does lightning hit trees and why? And here's the question. My name is Ken Ranch and I go to Valley View Elementary School and this is my weather project. My weather question is, why does lightning strike trees? Yeah. The National Weather Sur Surprise says that standing under a tree is one of the most dangerous places to be in this storm. A tree has moisture, sap, and water inside it, which attracts lightning. Trees are tall. That makes lightning strike trees too. Excellent job, Kieran. That's exactly the case. And you're dealing with lightning hitting these trees, and you don't want to be near those trees. As Roland mentioned earlier, you stay away from trees. It's any tall object. Uh, I've got this graphic here shows that the issue that we deal with with lightning striking trees uh, in Idaho is because of the fires that occur. And so here's dry lightning. Lightning will hit the tops of the, these treetops. It's extremely dry outside, and so you're, 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 you're triggering fires uh, in the gusty winds that are coming down because this rain typically is evaporating because of the low humidity. And so you get uh, cooling from that evaporation, which brings gusty winds and lightning out of the sky with the dry ground. So it's the recipe for disaster when you're dealing with dry lightning. That's the big wild card to whether or not we'll have a big fire season coming up. It's if we get the lightning strikes coming down. By the way, there's a lightning shadow. For instance, if you're walking through uh, downtown New York City and you've got the Empire State Building overhead with that lightning rod on top, if you take a square like this or a right angle like this here and you you make a cone out of it and you place it right over the top of a point here. Let's say my tie was the top of a tree. And if you're standing anywhere under this cone, you won't get struck by lightning. Lightning will either strike here or anything that might be poking above this, but not under this cone. And so if you look at this tree, if you had it like this, lightning would not strike inside here lower without hitting maybe something that was poking up. This is lower than this tree, but it's not within this cone, so it might strike this tree here as well. So in downtown Boise, if you're walking by the bank building and lightning's coming down, it's going to hit the building before it hits you. I've never really ever huh, wanted to huh. test that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, you know, if that's you have theory. no other choice, you that's the safest zone probably. Well, well, you know, you may be, you may be getting away from, from the rain, but obviously when it comes to lightning, uh, you, you want to go inside. That's your best safety. Right. But if you can't go inside and there's a lot of lightning going by, you're supposed to crouch down uh, on the balls of your feet so you have less of you touching the ground mm -hmm. and wow. then kind of crouching your head down and getting to a ball. Don't lie flat on the ground because you're still more of a target that way. Huh? I'm sure a Boise business will let you in, though, first, before you have to <laughs> that is true. do that downtown, downtown. You know they will. Coming up next.